Ho, ho, hello. Thank you for stopping by. My name is Becky and this is Bex Reads and welcome back to another day of Bookmas. Today, I thought I would round up some of my fellow booktubers and get their recommendations of a book that they've read this year that they think would make a great gift. It is the season of giving. So if you have a book lover in your life, maybe one of these books will be exactly the gift that you could give them. So take it away. Hi, I'm Allie and my channel is All I Do Is Read and if I had to choose from all of the books that I read this year to give as a gift this holiday season, it would definitely be The Princess and the Grilled Cheese Sandwich. Hey, this is Kristen from the channel Kristen Craves Books. So I'm here to talk about a book that I would gift to somebody and that is a hard ask because I don't think there is a book that you could universally recommend or gift to anybody, but I went with a graphic novel and the one I settled on is The Princess and the Grilled Cheese Sandwich by Dea Muniz. It made me so happy. There's a romance in it. It made me tear up though. My favorite graphic novel of all time. I think I am comfortable saying that and the artwork is just adorable. It's about a young woman who has to pretend to be a man. So it starts off kind of sad actually. It's following Lady Camembert and we open up with her finding out that her father is dying and she is his only child and he knows because she is a woman that she will be left with nothing unless she gets married. So he tries to arrange a marriage for her but he knows that's not what she wants so he decides that maybe it's better for her if she leaves town with her inheritance and pretends to be a boy. She ends up falling in love with the princess of this town and lots of drama ensues. It is just really sweet and I ate it up. Every character and like the whole town, all the shops, they're all named after different cheeses and it was just the funniest, happiest time. If somebody in your life isn't the biggest reader, this is a safe one to do and it just looks cute and uh, if you just want to give somebody a warm hug or put a smile on their face, this is the perfect book to gift to them. So I definitely would want to share that happiness. Thank you, Becky, for including me in this video, and I hope you all have a lovely holiday season. Hey, Becky and friends. My name is Lisa at Babin Library, and if I were to recommend any book for any reader as a gift, I would recommend Abby Jimenez, Part of Your World. I read this earlier this year and absolutely loved it. Five Star Romance. This is a small town older woman, younger men, age gap trope that really tickles your funny bone, but also hits you in the sweet spot. I know fantasy readers and more serious contemporary fiction readers that absolutely love it, as well as your traditional romance readers. It has a little something for everyone. Again, this is growing up, finding your own way, leaving your legacy behind without tying it to your family. It is about finding the person that you love that completes you no matter the circumstances. And I would tell you to highly check this out and recommend it to a friend. Thanks, Becky. Hi guys, it's Just From Honest Fiction and I wanted to say a huge thank you to Becky for asking me to collab in this video. So when Beck reached out and asked me for a book that I read this year that I thought would be perfect for a holiday gift, I immediately thought of Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. Now this might seem like a very basic answer, however I thoroughly enjoyed this book and also I feel like there are so many different editions and different like fan made dust jackets that any sort of book collector would be so excited to add one of these books to their shelves. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the plot of Fourth Wing, we are following Violet Sorengale, and she believed her entire life that when she came of age, she was going to become a scribe, and instead, her dragon rider mother tells her when she comes of age that she is going to compete against other cadets to one day bond with a dragon and become a dragon rider herself. So this first book is essentially just following Violet as she is competing against these events other cadets and trying to stay alive long enough to eventually bond with a dragon and gain magical powers. It also has an enemies to lovers romance and there is just so much action. I love the characters and it also is a little bit spicy. So highly recommend if you have not read this yet, definitely pick it up. I think it is worth all of the hype. Hi, I'm Jack from the booktube channel Jack and the Book Stack. And when Bex Reads asked me to recommend one of my favorite reads from 2023 that would make a perfect gift for anyone, it took me some time to think of something. But I landed on The Wishing Game. Hello, my name is Venus from the channel Venus Escapes to Read. And the book that I would gift to anyone, whether they're a book lover or new to reading, is The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. Hey everyone, it's Tara from Tara Talks Books. So this is my gift recommendation for the reader in your life. 
This is The Wishing Game by Meg Schaefer. This book is inspired by Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, but it doesn't have the magical fantasy elements of that setting. This one is about a young woman who is a teacher's aide for a kindergarten class. You had a very lonely and tumultuous childhood, and she found comfort in a book series called Clock Island by an author named Jack Masterson. Lucy has become very attached to one of her students named Christopher. Due to some unfortunate circumstances, he entered the foster care system. They want so badly to be a family, she wants to adopt him. But Lucy is starting to lose hope at ever being able to adopt Christopher because she just doesn't make enough money to support them both. So when this really quirky children's author comes out of retirement, advertising that he wrote one book and he will give it away to a lucky winner, she knows that she has to compete to win this so that maybe she can sell it to a publisher and get the funds to start her family. The games in this book are so fun. The story is so heartwarming. There's another character named Hugo that I absolutely adored. He's Jack's illustrator and he's hilarious. This one is very heartwarming. It has a found family aspect and it shows just how much a book can mean to many people. It was so heartwarming and it's a perfect gift for anyone. Any person that you give it to within your family or your friends will really enjoy it. But particularly this time of year in December when we're all warm and fuzzy from the holidays, this is a great read and would make a fantastic gift. I cried, I laughed, I smiled, I could not put this book down and I highly recommend it to everyone. Thanks, Becky. Something that I think would be a great gift for someone would be The Lies of Loch Lamora by Scott Lynch. You really do get your money's worth out of this one, and I'm pretty sure there are some beautiful editions of it online too. This book follows the exploits of a skilled thief and con artist called Loch Lamora. This is set in a richly detailed world that you really do find so much fun exploring. It has a really intriguing plot with intricate heists, political intrigue, and pretty much everything that you would want in a really great fantasy novel. It takes so many great and wonderful turns, some really dark turns also, but you will definitely be hooked from beginning to end. And whoever ends up reading this will most likely want to continue on. So you're not just gifting them this book, you're also gifting them a potential new favourite series. And after a year of a lot of mediocre reads and books that haven't really stood out to me, The Lies of Loch Lamora did, and that is why I think this would be a fantastic book to gift someone. Hello everyone. First, I want to thank you for having me involved in this. Um, secondly, this is a book that I would recommend to pretty much anyone, but definitely the crime lovers in your life. And that is Kill Your Husbands by Jack Heath. You know I'm a Jack Heath fan and I read this one this year. I got the ARC copy and I am obsessed. This follows the story of three couples who decide to go into uh, kind of like a remote cabin and they decide to do kind of like a partner swap situation. All three husbands go into the rooms, the doors are closed and then the lights are turned off. The women pick a door and then we kind of like a stumbled into a crime scene. So one woman is missing, one woman um, has run down to the police station and the police officers arrive and two of the husbands are dead and one is being held at knife point by another woman. We don't know whether it's his wife or not. And now the police officer has to try and figure out what happened, who's lying, who's telling the truth, and it was so good. Jack Heath does these kinds of thrillers fantastically, and I think that so many people in your life would absolutely adore this as a present. Hello everyone, my name is April. My channel is Happily Ever April, and thank you Becky for inviting me in this collab. But today, the book that I would recommend to give as a gift would be that time I got drunk and saved a demon. You have a spice farmer named Cinnamon and she saves a demon named Fallon from a drunken stupor who reluctantly pulls her into this quest to kill an evil witch who is enslaving his people. Kimberly Lemming's writing is hilarious and I think it's just a nice lighter, sweeter fantasy to dip your toes into for somebody who's maybe wanting to try something like this. Uh, it is a little spicy though, so make sure whoever you give this to is into that stuff. Hey everyone, this is Amanda. I am from Amanda's Booktopia here on YouTube. You can also find me over on Instagram as choirgal17, as well as Twitter at choirgal17. I have a great book to recommend that I think everybody should pick up that I would 
give as a gift to anybody who is interested. Anyone who likes a good thriller. The Only One Left by Riley Sager is my absolute favorite of this year. It is about this woman who everyone thinks killed her family way back in like the 1920s, like the late 1920s. So now she is much older in a wheelchair so she needs a caregiver. And this caregiver comes into her home to take care of her and all kinds of weird things is going on trying to find out what's going on with this woman named Lenora all kinds of things go on with the people around her and what the heck is going on in this book and it just spirals and spirals and the ending was nothing what I expected it was fantastic this is my favorite of the year I would give this as a gift to anybody who is interested in this type of story I highly recommend I think anyone who has not read Riley Sager this in my opinion is his best book hey Becky thank you so much for inviting me to take part in this video so what would be the perfect book to gift for Christmas or the holiday season just because you never know everyone has different tastes I think that a beautiful addition of a book would be perfect. Something that's either a collection of stories or a classic or a collection of classics in a very nice leather bound style for someone to really enjoy looking at on their bookshelves. Something that is a piece of art and something they can dive into if they're ever feeling like it. And I think the perfect one for this season would be the Snow Queen and Other Winter Tales. I think that this is still available at Barnes and Noble. I'm not sure, but this is a Barnes and Noble leather bound edition. And it's very pretty too. I love it. I really think there's something so classic about a nice like leather bound book. This is the kind of special edition I like and I think that they're actually fairly inexpensive at Barnes and Noble and they have a whole lot of different options. I've got a ton of them. They've got different mythology options or maybe like Sherlock Holmes. So maybe just consider the person's interest and a really nice leather bound edition of something more in their wheelhouse but that they can also just enjoy it as a piece of art on their bookshelves. I hope that helped. All of those were such great gift recommendations. I'm sure any number of them could be a gift that somebody would love in your life. Apparently, I need to read The Wishing Game though because that was pretty popular. But for my recommendation, I am going to recommend the All the King's Men duology by Kennedy Ryan, The Kingmaker, and The Rebel King. Now, these are the indie editions. The newer editions have flowers on them. So if you go in a bookstore and you see those, don't be thrown off. They're the same story. Now, this is classified as a romance, but don't, don't dismiss them. Because even though they are classified as a romance, I think these are books that even non-romance readers could enjoy. In this, we are following the story of Lennox and Maxim. Maxim's father is laying pipelines through Lennox's reservation. She is there protesting it at the age of 17. Maxim is visiting his father and he sees this young lady who is super passionate and he jumps out of the car to get in front of her when she is about to be attacked by dogs. And so they meet when Lennox is very young. Maxim is about 24. They don't have any sort of romantic relationship thus far. They just meet. And then years later, when Lennox is much older, they end up meeting again in Amsterdam suddenly, and thus starts off their relationship. But Lennox has no idea that Maxim is the son of the man that she despises. So it puts some tension on them and they go their separate ways. But throughout this duology, you see them come back together and then drift apart and then come back together where they finally eventually land. This is such an amazing story. So I think if you have a romance reader in your life, they will definitely enjoy this because their romance is epic. But let's just say you have somebody in your life who likes more just general fiction. I still think they would really enjoy this because it does deal with some real life topics such as politics and missing and murdered indigenous women and how people of minorities are treated and how we deal with family dynamics when certain people in your family don't agree with you on things. Now, if you're somebody who likes fantasy romance, this has absolutely no fantasy in it whatsoever. <laughs> but I'm going to recommend it because their romance feels like a fated mate situation. 
it spans 10 plus years and it's almost like these two are destined soulmates. So that is my recommendation for books that I read this year that I think would make a great gift for anybody in your life. Thank you so much to my fellow booktubers for participating in this and giving you some gift ideas. Let me know down in the comments what is a book that you have read this year that you think would make an excellent gift for somebody. But if you don't feel like commenting that and want to let me know that you made it to the end of this video, could you just leave me a gift emoji? And with that, I will see you tomorrow for another day of Bookmas. Bye!